Maurice Blocker, a two-time world champion, former WBC welterweight champ. This fight is a pick -em, probably based on Blocker's experience versus Trinidad's KO percentage, which happens to be 84.2. And Blocker has recently displayed a weak chin, in particular against Norris and Simon Brown. As we go to the numbers, to the tail of the tape, a classic case of experience versus youth. Trinidad at 20, 10 years younger than the champ. The rangy blocker generally baffles opponents with his height and reach. No major disparities in this case. The weight almost even. A four and a quarter inch reach advantage for blocker. And to the rules according to the IBF for this championship fight. Ten point must system. Three scoring judges. No standing eight count. No three knockdown rule. Only the referee can stop the fight. And a fighter cannot be saved by the bell except in the last round. So here at the San Diego Sports Arena. Standing by for the IBF welterweight championship, Maurice Blocker versus Felix Trinidad. Let's get the official introductions from our ring announcer, Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening to you and welcome to the San Diego Sports Arena in beautiful San Diego, California as Don King Productions and Showtime in association with Arena Boxing present a big night of action, fire, and water. At this time, we bring to you the first of our two double main events, the IBF Welterweight Championship of the World. This bout is sanctioned by the International Boxing Federation. The President, Robert Lee, Supervisor Al Lucas, along with the California State Athletic Commission, the Chairman, William Eastman, the Executive Officer, Dr. Richard DeCure. Now presenting the judges as appointed. We have Gwen Adair, Paul Artiste, and Samuel Conde. Introducing the referee in charge of this main event, he'll be giving instructions after the introductions, Robert Bird. All right, fans, here we go with the IBF Welterweight Championship of the World scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. <laughs> Introducing to you first the challenger on my right, fighting out of the blue corner. He is wearing white trunks with red trim, hailing from Coupe Alto, Rio Piedras, Puerto Rico. He weighed in at 145 and one half pounds and he enters the ring with an unblemished record of 19 wins, no losses, and 16 wins coming by way of knockout. He is ranked the number seven IBF welterweight contender. Please welcome the undefeated challenger, Felix Tito Trinidad. And his opponent across the ring is the defending champion on my left, fighting out of the red corner. He is wearing white trunks and fighting out of Germantown, Maryland. His weight, 146 pounds. His record, 35 wins, 3 losses, and 19 wins coming by way of knockout. He is the former WBC and the current IBF welterweight champion of the world. Introducing Maurice, the Thin Man Blocker. Once again, here's your referee in charge, Robert Bird. Let's go, let's go. Okay, I gave you instructions in the dressing room. The only thing I'm gonna tell you now, this is a championship fight. I want a tough, competitive championship effort. Good luck. Blocker told us yesterday he plans to do what he normally does, and that is box. He said bluntly, I know nothing about Trinidad. I haven't seen any tapes of him. We are set for round one, scheduled for 12, the IBF welterweight championship. Meanwhile, Trinidad told us through an interpreter that he will be on the attack. His strategy is offense and more offense. He'll try to apply pressure. Trinidad employs sort of an easy, relaxed style can initiate the tackle, work off of his opponent's moves, doesn't mind counterpunching. His knockout punch, the left hand. He's got a great hook, and he has patience with it. I mean, he aims it very well. But why doesn't he look like a baby? I mean, look at that face. 
Well, you have 10 years in difference in age, and that could work in experience factor for blocker or strength and youth factor for Trinidad. The two have contrasting knockout percentages. Blocker at 48.6%. Trinidad, as mentioned earlier, 84.2%. Interestingly, Trinidad with 16 knockouts and 19 wins had only 12 KOs and 51 amateur victories, but that can be attributed to the fact that the amateurs have only three rounds, and what is legal in the pros may be a foul in the amateurs, so Trinidad uh, probably better suited for the uh, professional ranks. He likes to let the other guy feel him out and come in counterpunch at the beginning before he gets in gear, and that's exactly what he's doing his first round. He's just watching Blocker, letting him start out, and then trying to come in with counter punches. Blocker mentioned several times during the interviews yesterday that he wanted to just relax and be comfortable. Relax and be comfortable. He said it over and over. He also said it in previous interviews, and it's something that he feels he fights better when he's relaxed and comfortable, and I guess it's a mental game with him. And while Blocker lacks the knockout punch, he's tough to beat in fights that go to the judges. Trinidad has never gone 12 rounds. He's gone to the 10th round only twice in 19 fights. Other than that, six rounds is his deepest. There's that hook that we talked about. He's patient. He'll throw it once, twice. If he can land it, then it keeps coming in like rainwater. Locker captured the IBF welterweight crown in 91 with a decision over Glenwood Brown. And that one came after he suffered only his second defeat in March of 91 against his buddy, Simon Brown, losing the WBC belt to Simon, 10th round TKO. And in his previous outing, Blocker won the WBC welterweight title with a decision over Marlon Starling. Uh, so the championship short-lived. Well, Blocker said he hadn't seen Trinidad, and if he hadn't seen him, he must have heard about him because he's shown me an awful lot of respect being a champion yeah. and as the young man's trying to get inside. Or maybe that's that, that relaxed thing he talks about. I, I don't like a relaxed fighter. I mean, when, he, when you're talking about relaxed with aggression, that's good, but relaxed and letting the other guy come on is no good as far as I'm concerned. You can relax yourself into a knockout. Yeah, there's a certain amount of nervous energy that puts you on like an edge that makes you sharp, and I think that's very necessary. And that's what I don't see in Blocker. Look, look at the way he opens. He keeps that right hand open, that right, right hand glove open. Look, look, he's already stunned. Look at that. Final seconds of round one as the crowd comes alive. Another good shot. Combination by Trinidad. Big finish for the challenger, Felix Trinidad. And that's the explosive force that I saw when he had 10 fights. All of a sudden, they just blow him right out with one good punch. Back to school with the base. Left jab, understand? Left jab. You're all right, baby. Come on. You got to lean back, start jumping for more punches. You try the left jab a little bit. Stand with the right hand. Okay? You're okay, baby. You're okay. Yeah, good. good. Now you got to lean here a little bit more move with the head. Back with the left jab and a key on the right hand. The right hand is the one. Well, his right hand is wide open, Bobby. He hadn't got a clinch to punch. And here, let's take a look at where he got him in trouble. Oh, look at that nice right hand right on the button. And you can see the wobble uh, in Maurice Blocker. Blocker's got a weak chin, Bobby. That's all you can say. I mean, when you touch him, he wobbles. You know, it's something we've mentioned about, we've mentioned over the years and over the course of time that fighters grow old in a day, and it's not a matter of years. It's a matter of, A, punishment that the body's taken and how it's reacting to it. Some fighters can take punishment for an entire career and never really get that wobbly physically, but Blocker is showing signs of the worst. Yeah, because the last two have been big beatings. Here's another assault by young Felix Trinidad, who is determined to establish himself as a knockout artist. Knocked out his first five opponents after turning pro in 90 and nine of his first ten. Looking for a KO here. Right now, if Blocker doesn't get this young man's attention and get the respect by hitting him back good and getting, hitting him back hard, he is going to get walked right through. Maurice Blocker, the champion, in difficulty early. It is round two. Now, this kid has said he's going to knock him out before five. He's not going to waste time. He just can't get, oh, another one right on the button. Another good right hand by Trinidad right on the button, the blocker. Good jab snapping back the head of blocker now. Blocker's trying to roll with the punches a little more now, not take them as flush. I don't know how effective that's going to be if he keeps taking so many. And Trinidad going upstairs and downstairs. Great left hook there by Trinidad, followed by a right. Blocker in trouble again. Blocker in big trouble now. Here comes the kid. 
Trinidad looking to finish. Blocked her off. Oh, what a right hand by Trinidad. Low punches by Blocker. Three low punches. There's no quit in Blocker, though. He's throwing. He knows he's in trouble. He knows it's, it's almost over, and he is trying. Liberty left, and down goes Blocker. And when they fall face down, they don't get up, Bobby. You don't have to count. You don't have to count. It is all over. Just as Trinidad said, he was going to come out. He was going to knock him out early and not waste time. We got a new rising superstar here in Trinidad. And perhaps a star is born. Felix Trinidad out of Coupe Alto, Rio Piedras, Puerto Rico, is your new IBF welterweight champion. And while they're doing that, Blocker is still down. They're trampling all over him. They've got to get those, these people away from him. And they've got to, they're trying to sit him up too soon. They've got to get a doctor in there. They cannot get him up in a hurry. The worst thing you can do for a knockout fighter is what they're doing, sitting him up in a hurry. Let him lay down until he fully recovers his senses. He went down very hard on his face, Bobby. That's yeah, he did. When they fall face first, usually the saying in the gym is, when they fall face first, you don't have to count. And what? And the main thing in the treatment of a, of a boxer that gets knocked out is let him remain until he's conscious laying down and let him go step by step. Next step is sitting up. Next step is standing up. And Blocker, hearing it from the crowd as he got to his feet, now sits down on the stool. Yeah, he's now, he is now hearing people, and he's now responding a very good sign. For those of you worried about Blocker, he, you do not have to worry now. He's up, he's talking, he's recognizing people, and that momentary fright has gone by. But this young kid, this baby face killer, it came, came on just as advertised, and there's Jamil Shade, the, the man with the dark glasses, who predicted that this would be an early knockout. Now let's take a look at how uh, the first this round as it begins already blockers in trouble. But all of a sudden that left hook uncorks and you can see that little wobble already. Already blockers is, is feeling the effect. A series of punches which continue un, uninterrupted and, un, and Bobby. Yeah well point. later in the round you have you know have a young man who's aggressive adrenaline's up he's fighting well he's not getting hit back he's on the onslaught and blocker just cannot sustain this attack it's something that's it's incredible he's just gotten old in a day as we've said and it's a shame but out with the old and in with the new sometimes i i don't know how many people could take that kind of punch from trinidad because this little baby face kid can punch and uh it's hard to keep saying it but that is an introduction into the new world of superstardom for this young kid going toward middleweight as this, as man said in an auspicious beginning Trinidad hoping to follow in the footsteps of his fellow countrymen, such as Wilfredo Gomez, Wilfred Benitez, Edwin Rosario, Hector Macho Camacho. Great fighters out of Puerto Rico and 20-year-old Felix Trinidad, the new IBF welterweight champ, now at 20-0 with 17 knockouts, his first shot at a world title. And he disposes in rapid fashion of... Maurice Blocker, who now falls to 35 and 4, only his fourth defeat. The 30-year-old Maurice Blocker is pulverized in round two, unofficially 149 into the second round by Felix Trinidad, who comes up with his seventh consecutive KO. Let's get the official word right now from our ring announcer, Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time. One minute, 49 seconds. In round number two, the referee in charge, Robert Bird, stops the contest. The winner by way of knockout, the new IBF welterweight champion of the world, Felix 